500 years in a box at the bottom of the ocean would make anyone insane. That's the reason why we dread capture. Spend eternity in a cage. So, I had to share that clip with y'all because, oh, I'm looking like dark, dark and light. There's a tree in front of me. But I wanted to share that clip with y'all from um, The Old Guard. If you haven't seen that movie, check it out. I've seen it at least five times. It's such a powerful motif with lots of powerful symbolism in it. But I wanted to talk about the suppression of the feminine, the divine feminine in particular, as it relates to this scene in The Old Guard. Now, when he said, um, that's why none of us wants to be captured, because being held or held captive like that is enough to drive anyone insane, is enough to drive anyone crazy. You know what we talk about here on Fireside Chats with Global Women, how um, the idea of losing your mind and going insane is a powerful thing if you know how to lose your mind. And the idea of losing your mind means gaining a whole new mind. But I think it's so powerful because it exemplifies the suppression and the depression, meaning depressing or pressing down the feminine energy, this ancient power who was captured lifetimes before, um, who is essentially immortal, is essentially ancient, is considered a god, is considered something that people um, both feared and revered for the same reasons. So I wanted to show that scene because I just think it exemplifies this idea of when you are suppressed or depressed or vilified or demonized and are captured, you know, ideally, whether that be mentally, psychologically captured, whether you have not activated your power, your superpower come into knowledge of yourself and why you are here, that is an idea of being held captive. And so um, when the movie shows the woman screaming, waking up, um, she, she wakes up to realize she's still held captive and she, you know, she's screaming and she just, you know, kind of knocks back out again. And then she comes to, she's aware that she's being held captive, being suppressed, being demonized, vilified, and she's screaming and losing her mind. This went on for lifetime and lifetime and lifetime. So what I'm coming to say is, the rise of the feminine energy or the rise of the divine feminine principle has everything to do with this scene. The frustration, the, the anger, the upset, the heartbreak, the feeling of betrayal, um, all of that is being shown in this scene. Um, again, if you haven't watched that movie, go ahead and check it out. But I know that there is a lot of, um, there is a lot of Oh, that's a little too bright. There's a lot of fear um, around this idea of the feminine principle and what it means when the feminine rises again. Ooh, what it means when she's no longer held captive, when she's no longer being suppressed or held down or hidden in the shadows. That ocean and the water in that movie represents, water represents emotion. Um, so the feminine being held down in the darkness, in the dark shadows, um, in water, representing emotions. You can imagine the, um, the amount of emotion she is, um, has been drowning in for lifetimes. All of what she's been feeling, all of the heartbreak, all of the, you know, um, everything that she's been experiencing as far as being held captive and so i wanted to bring up this idea because i think it's really important to know i know there's a lot of fear and trepidation around the feminine rising in her power and people having fear of that because their fear is that she is angry and she is she's pretty pissed off right but she's not pissed off as it relates to coming to seek revenge. She's not coming to seek revenge. She's coming to get back everything that was taken from her. She's coming to recoup back everything that was already hers. She's coming to claim her throne and her empire. She's coming to rule as she was always meant to rule in her power, not overrule. There's a difference. She's coming to rule. Whew, it's a hot day, y'all. But anyway, she's coming to rule, not overrule. 
So, um, so this isn't her seeking revenge. This is simply her coming to get back, take back everything that was already hers in the first place. I mean, she gave birth to it, right? People also have this fear that the feminine rising um, coming out of this dark shadowy realm where she's been held captive for lifetimes, just like displayed in the movie, means that women or feminine energy, which exists in both women and men, okay, animals, the birds, the bees, the trees, exists in all facets of life. Um, people fear that this means that the feminine wants to take over or rule over men. <laughs> Quite the contrary. Um, she knows better. She's much more intelligent than that. Um, there is no such thing as ruling over. Um, ruling beside, absolutely. And the Divine Masculine knows this as well and is honored and welcomes her presence next to him because he knows that she can't do it without him and neither can he do it without her. So um, they're coming to rule together. Remember, there are two thrones, one for the king, one for the queen. There's the yin and the yang. There's the sun and the moon. There's light and dark. There's heaven and hell, angel, angel and demon, God and Lucifer. So remember, there are infinite parts of the same whole. So she's not coming back for revenge. She's not coming to hurt men. Men, it's okay, okay? We love you, we want you, and we need you. We do not want to exist on a planet with all women. Hello. <laughs> Neither do we want to exist on a planet with all men. Hello. But anyway, um, she's coming to take what's already hers. And that's not revenge. That's just seating yourself in your rightful place. So I just wanted to share that. I'll see you all on the flip side. Make sure you subscribe here to Fireside Chats for Global Women because turning pain into power is sexy. Um, make sure you get you some alchemy merch. Fear of feminine power is a mental disorder. There's some new merch that is coming soon. So make sure you stay abreast of everything. Thank you to those of you who have subscribed here on Fireside Chats and been rocking with these messages all of this time. It's been a very long journey, um, but I'm happy to be here and do it with you. Um, and make sure to connect with me on Instagram, Tanisha Burgess. Follow Alchemenity's page as well. And make sure you get your book, your copy of Activate. I talk about all of these ideas, um, all of these philosophies, all of these hidden other ancient truths in Activate unorthodox philosophies that explore anxiety, depression, and suicidal thoughts as symptoms of suppressed superpower. Can being held captive for lifetimes make you insane? Absolutely. But this insanity is a reflection of the rise of out with the old and with the new. She's coming back to take her throne. It already belonged to her anyway. See you guys on the flip side. Ciao for now.